So this is the final video in the series for the Blender Challenge Home Improvement for my contribution to the challenge. And of course the challenge is still running until July the 5th of 2024. And so you can go to the Zero Bio Discord if you like and you can check out the whips. You can check out final renders as they come in. And of course I'll make a render review for that. But uh, this, is, this is what I did for it. And I only managed to do four videos for this, which was really the modeling. In the part one, I just introduced the challenge, and then in part two, three, and four, I was modeling this uh, sleeping pod, which I've come to call uh, PodMed 2.0. And the idea is that the person, I'm not gonna call it a patient necessarily, the person goes to sleep in the pod, and then there are these various types of cylinders that you can attach to the top, which provide some kind of medicines for any uh, condition that the person is feeling and they wake up in the morning and they are cured so maybe one of these cylinders is to cure influenza or the flu in the common cold uh, maybe maybe there's a cure for diabetes or a treatment or something uh, that kind of thing and inside the pod there are a few things as well so this was a lot of fun to model and I went through a few iterations and I'm going to show you some final renders now there's more that I could do on this uh, in terms of modeling and certainly in terms of texturing, but you know, I've got other things on the go as well, and so I'm gonna have to leave it. Uh, this was modeled in Blender, and of course, that's what the challenge is all about. It's a Blender challenge, as you can see it here. It was modeled in Blender, and then it was textured in Substance Painter. And normally, I would have a couple other thumbnails here where I would show you some of the texturing. I don't actually have that for you because I got so busy with so many things, I just found a little bit of time here, a little bit of time there. To texture the thing so i just went ahead and did it on my own but i'll talk a little bit about it and of course i'll do more texturing in future videos and i've already done a bunch of it uh, in the in the past so uh this is just a, a picture of the uh the pod uh i didn't end up doing the book and i didn't end up putting a lot of cylinders around as you'll see uh, but anyhow this is this is what it ended up looking like this is rendered in in eevee at uh, 150 or 200 samples or something. I've got uh, ambient occlusion on, I've got bloom on, screen space uh, reflections, and that's about it. I did some post-processing as well. Um, I just have a few angles, but as you can see, I put some tires or wheels on this thing and changed the shape of this, and we have some various texts on here and some alpha work in Substance Painter. Uh, we've got the computer screen and that uh, uh, interfaces with the pod, as you see PodMed here, and that you can uh, sort of set things up and, you know, uh, control your dosage and stuff. This particular cylinder actually says influenza, and then it's got some measurements on here. So you can dial in the time for the dosage to be you know, applied and uh, the amount of the dosage and that. And there's room for actually two cylinders on here. So I did go for a slightly grungy look. I thought I was going to go for a real shiny one, but I decided I didn't want to do that. So here's a render with the pod closed. You can just barely see the camera there. And we'll move on and show you a couple more. Here we pop the lid up and you can see the, ca the camera. You can see the cushions. Uh, here you can see there's a little button pad on this side or button panel on both sides to control maybe the camera, maybe the volume of the headphones, maybe fine tune some of the chemicals coming in. Um, of course, the challenge was to take something that might be part of your home and make it an improvement. And so, you know, what I wanted to do was just improve the idea of sleeping and, and treating yourself with some medicine while you sleep. And so that's where I came up with the idea of this. All right, so let's move on. Just a couple of different angles for this, sort of from the back and a little bit of perspective just to see the pot open. It's not overly clean, so I don't know if it's been used lately or uh, or what the story is, but uh, that's, that's what it looks like right now. And there's a side view. There's a little bit of a ramp here, I guess. You could step up. That can be slid along here as well, so you're closer to there and you can step on this. Uh, Thing as well to boost yourself in there and of course this thing can rotate all the way back and I guess as you come in and lay down maybe you turn one of the buttons on the button panel and it closes the lid 
All right, we have a top view here with the uh, with the, the front end uh, open, and then we have a couple of other other views from other sides. So it's got that plasticky kind of sci-fi look. I ended up, you know, looking at a little bit of Alien Isolation, and I I really like working with this material. Uh, this was a is a smart material that I just tweaked a little bit. I used it in um, the Last of Us when I did those air conditioners. So it's got that sort of yellow brownish dust on it. Uh, and I, I quite like that for computers, for uh, mechanical equipment that doesn't have to be like a shiny metal. And for this sort of a hard plastic, uh, kind of like the stuff that you see in Alien Isolation in the corridors and the, and the, the map machine. You know, we put you can get the map and uh, various other computer type uh, equipment. Okay, a little bit of a close-up there. You can see influenza, and you can see the, the screen with the cords coming out into here, and the headphones. There's even actually holes in the, the speakers here, and you see a little bit of text and stuff on, on here. So there is a good amount of alpha work on this as well. And that's all I've got, actually. So probably my main shot is that one. All right, so... Yeah, that's uh, that was a, a fun project. It uh, it was rather intensive doing this. Although you know, you look at this, there's not a lot of greeble like stuff. Um, but it's still you know to to model the thing and to, to sort of design it. Um, I of course I went back and I watched some of the movie Passengers. You know that one with Chris Pratt and Jennifer Lawrence and uh, a little bit of Alien. And I looked at other pods and I tried to decide which one I wanted to do. And then. I just said, you know what, I'm just going to model this. And you saw me model this out of a, uh, out of a UV sphere. And uh, you saw me model most of it, I think. All right, maybe not the wheels and maybe not this shape and a couple of extra pieces that I put on. But most of it uh, I did on camera. All right, so that's it for me for this model for the Home Improvement Blender Challenge. I, of course, have more stuff planned for you. Uh, some stuff, I think I want to do some alpha stuff that we create alphas in a graphics program and, uh, and, and use them in Substance Painter so you can get various details that would be very hard to model. You could try with Booleans and stuff, but it'd be very destructive uh, and um, you know, increasing your poly count. So I want to do some of that and well, we're going to model more sci-fi stuff, crates and lockers and all that kind of cool stuff. All right, so there's more coming for sure and uh, a render review for this challenge so you can see what other people did. There's some really novel ideas uh, in this challenge, so I look forward to showing you that. So thank you very much for uh, coming by the channel and if you happen to watch this series, thanks for persevering through it. And I've already seen that a couple of people have also modeled pods you know, for practice. And I appreciate seeing what you do when I do a video and then I see that people did the lantern or the flashlight or the pod uh, and they want to show maybe on the Discord or sometimes they email me. I think that's uh, that's fantastic. And I always try to be very supportive of you uh, doing that. And um, I'm flattered, I guess, in a way. Um, anyhow, uh, yeah, I will be back soon. So thanks again for coming by. Take care of yourselves if you're in Canada or if you love Canada. Happy Canada Day tomorrow, July the 1st. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Take care.